All right. This is going to be in a response to all of you Muslims that keep coming on my channel, sending me emails, trying to convert me, trying to preach your ungodly faith to me. Okay? I'm going to make this short and sweet. The only one that I bow down to and worship is Jesus Christ, who is God. I do not worship Allah, who is known by the, the, the Bible as one of the greatest deceivers, the greatest deceiver, the father of lies, a.k.a. Satan. I do not worship Muhammad, who is a false prophet, a child rapist, a murderer, a suicidal demon, a cross-dresser who used to get his revelations by wearing his child, his nine-year-old child wife's clothes. A false prophet that teaches you should rub your genitals on rocks. A false prophet that has poor hygiene, that Muslims practice, by the way. And a false prophet, among many other things, that drinks camel urine. Islam is not a peaceful religion, and I do not care what you have to say. I am not going to change to your ungodly faith. Stop quoting me ver uh, verses from that ungodly Quran because I don't believe in your faith. Get it through your thick heads. Christians that defend Muslims, you are hypocrites. You are supposed to stand for the faith. Defend the faith because God sees these false faiths like Islam as idolatry. False faiths, false gods. It is a sin in God's eyes. And when you defend Muslims, you are advocating for their religion. You are supporting them. You are agreeing with them. You are no better than they are. You are basically, I have Christians sending me emails saying we should love one another. And we should um, accept those that worship a different faith. You cannot support those that worship a different faith because you are supporting their sin. For one. For two, God says in the word, either you're for him or against him. You have to defend the faith. Jesus Christ said, the world will hate you first. Well, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. Jesus Christ said, yeah, that the world will hate the Christians first because of his name. I'm paraphrasing, but it says it in the word. It was prophesied. So, you call yourselves a Christian... Yet, you turn around and you defend Muslims, the very same Muslims that are murdering our brothers and sisters in Christ out in the Middle East and other parts of the world. I'm not saying, okay, that every Muslim slaughters people, but I'm not defending that religion. I have Christians telling me that they believe that others have a right to worship what they want. You are not defending the faith. If you are supporting others that are worshiping a different faith, a false faith, then you are basically committing that sin right along with them because you're supporting it instead of standing up for the cross. Islam is not a peaceful religion. Now, yes, there may be secular Muslims about, but they basically have the same principal beliefs as your Muslim extremists. I don't care what you say. You can agree or disagree. But Islam is not of God, it is of the devil. Allah is not a God, it is Satan, a false God. Muhammad is a false prophet. I'm not going to throw scriptures at you of the Hadith and the Quran that clearly says for Muslims not to yield to the infidels, meaning non-Muslims that they consider disbelievers, to kill the Christians and Jews. So if it is such a peaceful religion... Why does the Quran say to kill the Christians and Jews? Do not yield or show compassion to non-Muslims. You see, the Quran teaches you to hate. The Quran teaches you to hate your enemies. It says to kill the enemy. That's what it says. Look at David Wood's videos. He does an excellent, excellent job exposing them. Look at his videos. David Wood, Apologetics, Act 17, he has a channel. But just type in David Wood. He, he exposes Islam very well. And you have false prophets saying that he's a liar, that he's wrong about the Quran. Well, they're wrong. 
The Quran is ungodly. It is disgusting. It is utter filth. Islam is not peaceful. It is a religion of the devil. ISIS demonstrates the full true nature of Islam. Do you know why? Because they follow the Quran verbatim, word for word. Islam is not a peaceful religion. Islam is a religion of hate. It is a cancerous, festering filth, landfill, is what it is. So if you profess, Christians, to love Jesus Christ like you say you do, then you will stand up for the cross and not for Muslims. Because those very same Muslims one day will be maybe the one that puts a blade to your neck and says you either renounce Jesus Christ and accept Islam, or you die if you don't accept Islam. Then what are you going to do? I'm going to take you to a couple of scriptures that says defend the faith. Those are the very words of Jesus Christ. And you have some Christians, I'm not saying all of you, but you have some Christians that would rather stand for Muslims than stand up for Jesus Christ, who is the very same Jesus Christ that died for our sins on the cross. How do you think the Lord feels? That is a slap in the Lord's face when you support a religion like Islam or Hinduism or atheism, whatever. Atheism, they're crazy just as Islam, uh, Muslims are. That, that worships basically a false god, false ideology. Okay, I'm going to take you to a couple of scriptures. According to uh, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 15, in the KJV Bible, it says, But sanctify the Lord in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. That's basically telling you, every man, any man that questions your faith, you be ready to stand up for the cross, even if it means dying for the Most High. <sighs> oh, Isaiah 9 or 8, 12. Do not call conspiracy everything the people call a conspiracy. Do not fear what they fear and do not dread it. Always fear the Most High because He's got everything under control. So if you have people saying, the, the, is it, I'm not going to deviate off the path, but there's an asteroid coming, this and that. Don't worry, you only focus on the most high, like I always told y'all to do. Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 25. Opponents must be greatly, gent, opponents must be gently instructed in the hope that God will grant them repentance, leading them to a knowledge of the truth. So we, as watchmen on the wall, have to instruct the lost with love. And of course, you got to be assertive. You have to show assertiveness. You can't be like um, shy or timid. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm telling you Christians, you need to stand up for the cross like it says in the word. Not all of you, but most of you. You call yourselves Christians, act like one. Be doers and hear, be hearers and doers of the word. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 17, Since you call on a father who judges each person's work impartially, live out your time as foreigners here in reverent fear. Live out your time, because every, everybody has an appointed time to be on this earth. Live out your time for the glory of the Most High God, Jesus Christ. Defending the work, defending the cross, okay, living for the Lord, standing up for the faith. 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 8. But if any provide not for his own, and especially for those of his own house, but have denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. So not only do you stand up for the cross, you stand up for your family. It says right here. You stand up for your family. Anybody attacks you, you defend them. That includes Muslims. What I mean by that is my Christian brothers and sisters, if you are in a place that is dangerous around the world and you're getting attacked by a Muslim and you have a chance to defend yourself, go for it, take it. Because bottom line is it's either you or that Muslim. You better make sure that you're the one standing. And if you have to use deadly force against that Muslim to save your life, you go ahead and do it. And in, in 
Timothy chapter 5, 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 8. But if anybody provide not for his own, and especially for his own house, he denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. According to God, if you don't provide for your family, if you don't provide most importantly for the faith, in other words, do the will of the Father, stand up for the cross, stand up for your house, stand up for yourself, you deny the faith because Jesus Christ teaches us to wage war with our hands. He teaches us to be warriors. He teaches us to be brave, just like he taught David. If you don't defend yourself, defend the faith, you deny the faith, and you are worse than an infidel. In other words, you are worse than a Muslim. That's what it says right here in the Word. So, on that note, to summarize this, you guys... To summarize this, you Muslims, stop trying to preach your gospel to your false gospel to me. I'm going to tell you like I told the other ones. I bow down only to Jesus Christ who is God. So you're wasting your breath. Stop quoting me scriptures from that ungodly book you call a Quran. To me, the Quran is no better than toilet paper or, or I can use that for my guinea pig's cage as litter. That's how I feel about your faith and your religion. Stop quoting me your ungodly verses because I don't believe in what you believe in. Christians that supposedly profess to be Christians, grow a backbone, grow a pair, and stand up for the cross, and stand up for Jesus Christ instead of defending Muslims.